Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Mario Sunday. We have a game over, but that's fine because I have infinite forever lives because this is Mario the Lost Levels and they don't care. They want to make a game that's really hard, but they're like, well, you can start over on every level. We don't care. Just beat the game. Like, be, be good at video games and beat it. Which is fine. I totally do that. It takes me a long time, but I'll get there. And I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I struggle with controlling Mario, which I feel like has been the theme of Super Mario Sunday ever since I began Super Mario Sunday. Uh... However, whatever amount of time ago, ago. So... Any long-time viewers are like, yeah, no, he's bad at Mario. We know... We know the shtick. We got it. We understand. That's what we're here for. If we wanted to watch somebody be good at Mario games, we'd probably be watching one of them speedrunner guys, or... Woo! Somebody who doesn't do whatever that just was. That, that fucking maneuver. You know when you hear Picard turn to, uh... You know, whoever. Ensign Crusher. And he's like, evasive maneuvers, Mr. Crusher. Because apparently he sounds like Sean Connery today. Get a haircut? Yep, sure did. Absolutely. Got them all cut, Mr. Sanguine. How you doing today? Well, I'm dead. Cannot progress from here. Almost did, though. That jump, they're like, the maximum amount of jumping spa space, right? Plus one block. Because, fuck the player. Who gives a goddamn? Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Did you get a haircut recently? I hope you did or didn't. Whatever it- oh, shit, I was supposed to jump. Whatever. Um, I hope you either did or didn't, depending on what you wanted to do. Basically, I hope you did whatever you want, because that's what you deserve. Are you having a- hmm. Have you died a thousand times? Because that's what I did today. What did you do today? Was it anything fun? Played WoW and didn't die, dude. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. That's the good life right there. And we got there. Okay, good. What? 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 Yeah, you're gonna die in Raid Finder a few times, that's sort of a given. No, no, I don't wanna be here! I wanna be- Uh, yeah. uh you worked? Yeah, you- You know what, man? I know you don't- I know it's hard work, and I know that you're like, yeah, he's gonna make fun of my work. I want you to know that you make a lot of people happy by serving them a delicious breakfast. And actually, I'm- I'm sure you don't serve them. And maybe because you're the boss? I assume you're the boss. Do you own the building and the business, or just the business? Um... You don't actually do any of the cooking, either. You just... You yell at everyone to make them do all the work. And then... I JUMPED! WHY?! I always hit the jump button! Oh, ha, 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 you video game. You, yeah, you video game, you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. I am right, though, right? You own the business. You sit in the big chair, and... Remember that scene in Rocco's Modern Life where Rocco was the, the owner, well, the manager at kind of a lot of comics for a while, and he turned into the boss in, like, a day? Is this an emulator? No! I am playing on a Super Nintendo. It is not... God damn it. I'm not emulating even a tiny bit. I have a number of technological doodads that allow me to... Die! Yes! Death to me. Where? Do, 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 do. I have a number of technological doodads that allow me to play the video games... ...on the consoles... And it's fun. Boom, 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 boom,
Rocco's Modern Life. Well, fuck. That mushroom's gone forever. Rocco's Modern Life. No! Oh! That bullet bill was in the trajectory of victory. It was in the way of progress. Just like political tweet. You know what I'm saying? You don't own the business, you have a boss that owns the business, you manage the kitchen, you cook a lot of the food, but you have times where you can sit back and make everyone else do the work. Oh, don't die. Everyone's aware of, um... Oh my god, shit, I forget her name. What was the name of Filbert's cat wife? What was the name of the, 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 the cat with the hook? Her name was Doctor? Something. She had a, uh, 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 she had a weird twitch where she would crick her neck and her neck would snap. She was very upbeat and she had a hook for a hand and she was a veterinarian and her name was Doctor. Something. What was her name? Anyway, uh, she totally boned Heifer. Am I right? We're totally, like, Dr. Hutchinson, that is totally correct. She had an extramarital, God damn it, extramarital affair with Heifer. We all are all in agreement on this, right? All of us? Because it is inconceivable to me that she has two turtle children and one cat child and one Heifer. Dentists or doctors, Habant? Just because they're a DDS instead of an MD doesn't make them any better than... Does, doesn't... You, you don't get to look down on them. Oh, shit. Paula? Was that her first name? Dr. Paula Hutchison? Yeah, she banged Heifer. I'm positive. I'm positive. Oh my god, did I just win the video game? Yes! Ah! Ah! Woo! Nailed it! My nose is a little edgy, but it doesn't matter. She has four children. In, like, the future episode, where, like, they travel forward in time, and... I forget why. No, you know what? They were trapped in space for, like, 15 years or something. And when they came back, uh, Filbert was old. Dr. Hutchinson was, like perfectly exactly the same and her children had grown up and her children were a cat two turtles and a like uh just a heifer just the fourth kid was just was heifer dr paula hutchinson shellbach or hutch for short a feline character voiced by linda wellum originally a dentist hutch also became a cashier surgeon veterinarian obstetrician and pharmacist Yeah, well, that could be it, too. Ah! I really like... Th God damn it. I can't kill Goombas? That is not the game's fault. I should be an expert at killing... I've been killing Goombas for 25 years. I should be awesome at Goomba killing. I should be the best Goomba killer in the room, which... I mean, I live by myself, so... Fuck! Shit! Fire! Drink more water, drink less sangria. This isn't sangria. It's another word for wine that I can't remember what it is. Ooh, whoa! Listen, I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm just saying it's strange that she has a cow child. If any of you have cow children, I still... Shit. I still love you. Understand that. Each and every one of you is my family. And I will be visiting on Christmas. Damn it! This thing is, like, perfectly placed to screw me over. Which is fine. That's how video games are sometimes. I hope you have a room set aside for me because I require my own room.
F had to step in. No, they're they're quadruplets. They were born from the same litter, I believe. Oh, these turtles are gonna come down here and try and kill me. I'm gonna laugh. Aha! Just like that. Get up there! Die. That's what death looks like, you guys. Death came in the form of a fiery tornado ball. Am I right, mages? Ooh. Alright, here we go. Dude, I can't believe I keep doing that. Whoa! What? I lost in my life with a vest and a half hours behind it. Something on his car real quick before I head over there next week. What? I don't know what that means. What? Did you mean to text somebody that and you texting code? That's right, fucker. Oh, another puzzly one? Alright, we'll go up and up. Well, fuck. Suggested text. Gotcha. Fantastic. Whoa. Okay. Don't die. Don't get eliminated. It's just like most extreme elimination challenge where you don't want to get eliminated. Kill turtles. I came here to kill turtles and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of turtles. Oh, fuck. Get up there! Why? I have shoes on. I should be immune slightly to fire. Not to lava. I shouldn't be immune to lava, that's ridiculous. But magical, fiery jump ropes? I should be immune to those if I'm wearing shoes. Which I am. Maybe not immune, but not killed by. Made mildly uncomfortable by. Inconvenienced by. That's what I should be. Okay, and here we are. And Turtle Man. Turtle Man, Turtle Man, gonna throw his hammer man. Oh my god, yes. Everything is awesome. What's going on, Winchester? You found me square in the middle of getting my ass beat by turtles. Of all various shapes, sizes, flavors, and heifers. Don't get burnt by the fire rod stick! You know what? I'm upset by the number of times I've died because I'm bad at video games. But, I am made not upset by the fact that OBS has been playing very nicely today. I updated it. And things have been smooth. I am hoping that my struggles... Ah! Super Nintendo. Super Mario The Lost Levels. It is uh, part of the Super Mario All-Stars game compilation that was one of the release titles for the Super Nintendo. Originally released for the Famicom... Don't you do this to me. Originally released for the Famicom in Japan as Mario 2. Not released in America as that because they were like, dude, Americans can't play this game, it's too hard. Which I suppose kind of breaks my narrative about why Zelda 2 is an acceptable game. I had these... Whoa, don't die! I had these strong thoughts. Ooh. 
I have these strong thoughts about why Zelda 2 is allowed to exist. Oh god, I got I got so thrown off by that new fireball. Am I at a checkpoint? No, I just gotta be good at the game. I have all this I have this rant about why Zelda 2 is acceptable. And part of it is that Zelda 2 came out during a time when Nintendo was experimenting with their sequel titles. They hit on something that worked well in Mario 1, and Zelda 1, and Castlevania 1, and Metroid 1, and another number of other originals that were really well received. So they took those same franchises and pivoted them a bit to see if the new thing would stick as well. Like, they were trying different things. They were very experimental. And Mario 2 was a part of that. But this is the Japanese Mario 2. So, I like, it's... I guess it sort of it cracks that narrative a little bit. Yeah, man. So it plays the same as Mario One, but it's ah that doesn't seem like it makes sense. I was pushing the button for over. Jump there. It's it, it it's. Like, level 1-1 one, one is about as hard as level, like, 6-1 in Mario 1. Like, it starts hard and then gets worse from there. As evidenced by my inability to jump over lava without touching lava. <laughs> Video games are unfair. I continued to have a bad week in Heroes of the Storm this week. Not that anyone... <sighs> Not that anyone really, really cares. But, uh... I've had, and it was... It wasn't, I don't think, I don't think it was my play this, this time. Like, the, since the last time I've updated you on my inability to play Heroes of the Storm to any level of success, I think, I think I can pretty easily put the blame on my teammates this time. Like, we had a couple of games where, um, god damn it. You wouldn't tell by looking at this game, but in Heroes of the Storm, I'm okay. You wouldn't know from looking at any of my other video game plays, but... Actually, shit, you know what? Is there mushrooms here? I'm gonna deliberately die a few times searching for mushrooms in these, in these blocks. Because I don't know if any exist. Oh my god! Face palm underscore CTR Mario Sunday. Yes, that is what is up. Just, just layer in that failure on. Um, we had a couple of games where like we just wouldn't draft a tank. You know how you get into Hero League and you just don't have a tank today? Like, oh, I thought I timed that better. I thought I was going to be awesome. But that's not what happened. Instead, I was not awesome. I was the opposite of awesome. I was awesomeless. That felt good. I felt good when I did that. It felt really good. Spin to win, and I jump. And I survive? Oh yeah, right. <sighs> right, you. Ah, you know what would have saved me there? A mushroom. We're like, we had a game on Braxis Holdout where we drafted a good team. We drafted a team that had, it was, it was Braxis Holdout, so, like, the, the objective there is to, god damn it, push them off the point so that we can take, like, there's two points you have to hold. And if you hold it for long enough, you win, um, thank you so much for all the mushrooms, that's exciting. You win, um, the race to fill up all the zerg. And if your team has more Zerg, you have a stronger Zerg rush, and then you can destroy some of their buildings and stuff, right?
I feel like I jumped is the problem. So, um, we drafted a pretty good team for that. Like, we had uh, all the power to do all the things that I just wanted to do. And then instead of, like, but the, the, the problem with our team was that we were stronger in the late game than we were in the early game, for sure, as a team. Um, we needed to wait until our guys finished their quests and, you know, like, certain characters get better at team fighting later in the game and, like, the, the, the correct strategy would have been to, um, play carefully, play defensively, you know, continue, like, keep, god fucking damn it, keep your experience up in the early game so that when we get into the late game we can fucking crush them. And instead of doing that, um, like, Arkelthos decided he was going to try and fight 3v1 a few times. And you're not going to guess... You'll never get, be able to guess how that went for him. You piece of shit. And then he's, like... We get to, like, level 5. He's lost... He's died, like, twice already. And then he starts screaming about how, well, we lost in the comp... Or we lost in the in the in the draft, so now we're just bound to lose. So then he starts feeding, and I'm like, "Come on, man! Like this is it's a competitive team game. Like you gotta play to the strategy that the team builds, and then follow along with it." We had another game where we drafted and like we drafted to battle. You've got to be kidding me! We drafted for Battlefield of Eternity, and we drafted a team comp that was very heavy in attack damage. Levels for Mario Maker, you would get upset- Yeah, exactly! That's- I'm convinced that the people who made this game went on to be the world's worst masochists in Mario Maker. I'm convinced that that is what happened. You see how close I'm getting to that Hammer Brother with the mushroom? Like, if I can get to that Hammer Brother with the mushroom, I'm convinced that I can win video games. Oh yeah, right, you gotta not walk through the fire. Sometimes I forget about my vulnerability to fire as a human. Fire hot. And... juke the fire? So that's, that's, that's what life is like in Silver sometimes, man. And I was listening to Into the Nexus, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite podcasts, period. And, um, I say that as a member of a podcast, by the way. It's better than the one I'm on, for goddamn sure. How do I manage not to rage quit? Part of what you are watching is me actually frustrated, and part of it is I play up the frustration a little bit because it's funny. <laughs> um, the, a big, a big part of it. All right, here's, here's the biggest reason. I'm gonna hit you with it. When I invariably get a game over, I'm going to start on this level. Mario's 1, 2, and 3 on the Mario All-Stars compilation restart you on the world that you're on if you get a game over, but they do not restart you at the level. Uh, because those games are easier, and they expect you to have to do a little work. Like, in order to get through the level, like, if you're going to get a game over, they make you work for it, right? I kind of want a, a command for rave quit, where I, like, a gif plays and I'm, like, doing rave dance. Mother... So it, it makes it a lot easier to not have to replay all the levels. Oh, fuck. Makes it easier to not have to replay all the levels that I've already gotten through. Like, once I get past the level, that level's in my past forever. And I am not at all concerned about ever revisiting it. Come on. Oh, 
Right between the Goombas feels really bad, man. One and three on the NES. I adore three. I think three is probably the strongest Mario game they've ever made. I, like, it's... And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other Mario games that are really impressive. But Mario 3 is... Man. It's, it's a work of art, dude. It's just good. It's good across the board. It's got... Beautiful music and great level design and a cool cast of characters. Like, they introduce... Yes, I did it. They introduced the Koopa Kids in that one. Not Bowser's children, by the way. How hard do you have to push the button? This wedding is horse shit. Oh, good. I got a email from Toch. Toch. Well, that's gone forever now. Coach somebody from IUP. Like, guys, I graduated from there years ago. I'm not interested in what your coach is doing with the local football team. I don't understand why I'm still... Like, I should have blocked emails from that school a long time ago. Well, fuck. Not that I don't appreciate my time at IUP. I really enjoyed it, but... Like, I don't live near there. I don't have any... Oh, hang on. I'm not going to fight the fire and read the chat. Every time I think of Mario 3, I pop back to the movie The Wizard with Fred Savage when Nintendo surprised everyone with the game in that movie. The Wizard. Wait a minute, was that... I remember The Wizard, and I'm pretty sure I remember the scene you're talking about. Was that the first time that anyone had seen... Mario 3? Like, was that the reveal for Mario 3? Was in that movie? I think I gotta rewatch The Wizard. That could be fun. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys die. I'm not even gonna fight you. I'm a man that way. Ooh. Whoa! That was the reveal. God damn, that is that is awesome, man. I'm I'm like all about video game trivia. And that is some fucking trivia right there, dude. Alright, high speed run, jump, nail it. Get hit by fire anyway, because I'm too tall for fire. Anybody ever been too tall for fire? I just was. Again, I feel like I should be able to land on that corner. That corner seems safe, doesn't it? Yo, speaking of reveals, what are we going to see at Gamescom? What do you think? 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 Probably going to get a couple of new Heroes of the Storm heroes. We're probably going to get some cool World of Warcraft shit, you guys. Some cool Warcrafty things. Some Warcraft Ringo Dingoes. Time it just right. Be the greatest there ever was. Really? Mushrooms for me. 
get caught up in the speed running, speed running, speed running. You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Next time on Super Mario Sunday. I keep almost saying Saturday Night Zelda, which is why I'm slurring so long. S speed dying. See you later.